So today I want to walk you through a few hacks for real estate agents and kind of give you some insight into what you want to do about every 30 days or so. <clears throat> so this is actually one of the pages that we manage for a client of ours. And there's a few things that you know you want to go and look through really quickly that are set up on your own page. <clears throat> the best way to do that is to go to the page itself and then hop on over to your settings button. Now what's cool is Facebook will constantly add new features in your settings button. So you want to make sure that there's a few things that you do in order to really get the most out of your Facebook business page, especially with as restrictive as the algorithm is these days, where only about 1% of the people who have liked your page are going to see your posts organically. Now I'm going to teach you a couple little tricks that will help you with that. So first off, you want to make sure your page is published. Now the next thing that we're working on with this agent is getting this page verified. There's two ways in which to do this. The simplest way to do this is to put in your phone number and then have Facebook call you. They will then give you a verification code. So the agent has to do this because the page has to be linked with his phone number. So with that verification code, once they get that and it's the same, it's got to be the same number also that's published on your Facebook business page. It can't be a different number. So make sure that those match before you do this. But all you have to do is simply hit the call me now button. And what will happen is Facebook will call, give you a verification code. You simply just put the code in below and kaboom, the page is verified. This, as, as it states here, will help you show up higher in search results and also help you attract more visitors. And it's also going to give you a verified page badge to let your know, visitors know the page is authentic, it's not a scam, that you know, you're not just trying to, to take advantage of people, anything like that. So it's very, very important to verify your page. So if you haven't done that, I highly suggest you do that. Now the other thing that really has to be looked at is your audience optimization for your posts. So you can, you want to click this little box right here that says you allow preferred audience selection and the ability to restrict, restrict audience for your posts. This kind of helps you target your posts organically. And I'm going to go into that, um, a little bit as far as what you can do to really help you with that. So the next thing you want is messages. You always want the ability for potential customers or current customers to be able to contact your page privately. Now as a quick little caveat to that. If you do not have the Facebook Business Pages Manager installed on your phone, I highly recommend that you do that. Because with that, it's going to, you, when you only have just Facebook installed on your phone, the problem with that is, if somebody messages you, you'll only get a notification if they're messaging your personal profile, not your business page. The difference being, you want those notifications going to your business page, not your personal profile. So you want to make sure that you have that installed on your phone. Again, that's the Facebook Business Manager app. So go take a look for that and install that on your phone. Tagging ability, you want people to be able to tag. You really do because that's going to help you get some more organic exposure, that free exposure that everybody craves. And then page locations, um, always good because you can use that in photo and video frames, which is pretty gosh darn cool. And it's, it's a neat little feature that not a whole lot of people know about that Facebook's using. So on this one, we set the profanity filter to strong because, you know, we want to keep it a certain way for this agent. Similar page suggestions. This is something a lot of agents overlook and, and this can really, really hurt you. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you want your page included when other pages similar to what somebody might have just liked are being shown to them. So, for example, if you go in and you like a page, you'll see similar page suggestions. You want to make sure that your business page is included in that, so you always want this little box checked right here. Page updates. So, you can choose when you update information on your page whether or not that is posted to your business page timeline. I tend to lean more towards liking that information published, but if you don't want something up there, you can uncheck the box or you can merely delete the post. It's very, very simple. Ability to write in multiple uh, languages is turned off. This is, is kind of for a couple reasons. One, because the agent, you know, is, is really just English speaking only. The second is because a lot of times what you're going to find is sometimes people who will spam 
different business pages, things like that might do so in another language. So we just put the kibosh on that immediately so that people can't do that. And then you do have the option to translate if somebody does happen to get something through. And then you have your most relevant comments shown to your page by default. Now you can do this in the order the comments are left on your post, or you can do it just with relevant comments. We chose to do relevant comments because it just tends to get you a little bit more traction when somebody else is reading the comments on a different post or something like that. So. The next thing you want to take a look at is messaging. So what we did was we used something called the response assistant, okay? Because the ultimate goal when somebody messages your Facebook page is you want to be able to give them an instantaneous reply, but also something that works for you and your business. So for this agent, what we did was we thanked the person for messaging them, um, we try to be responsive as possible. We'll get back to you soon for pa faster service. Please call and then put the agent's number on there. Same thing, stay responsive when you can't get to your phone or computer. And we personalize these messages, which is very, very easy to do. So you can choose to personalize each message that's going to a customer. So for me, it would say, hi, Shauna. For you, if your name was Christine, it would say, hi, Christine. It automatically pulls the name information from your Facebook page. So it makes a heck of a lot of sense. The same thing here for faster service, please call and then show a messenger greeting. Now what this does is when somebody visits your Facebook business page, it automatically pops up with the greeting, almost like a chat box on a website. So it's really, really cool to have this option as well because that way you're not leaving any opportunity for somebody to contact you on the table. But we're gonna change these greetings up a little bit because we want them to be a little more effective. And then, also, I have the page set up to where people can schedule time with the agent to view homes or have an appointment or do a listing appointment direct from the Facebook page. And I'll show you how that works in a second as well. But first, what we want to do is we want to change the response assistant to call or text, and then we want to ask a question. So that way, the prospect is more likely to engage with us. I mean, it, it's sales 101. The person who's asking the questions is in control of the conversation. So because of that, we want to make sure that we're asking relevant questions when people are doing instant replies to this particular agent's page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and change this, and then we're going to come back and review what I changed it to. Okay, so this is pretty cool, right? It even shows you a preview of somebody who's messaging your page that says, hey, I have a question. So what we changed our instant reply to is we added personalization. All you have to do for that is click this little button right here and then say person's first name, right? And we're thanking them for their message. We will give you a detailed reply as soon as possible. But for now, are you looking for a home for yourself or someone else? Very nice generic question. And then giving them the option to call or text the agent's cell phone number. So that way they're feeling like it's a little bit more personalized response, but we're also taking an opportunity to begin a volley of conversation with this prospect by having them get back to us and answer that question, which then gives us an opportunity to do what? Ask another question. Because again, the person who asks questions is going to be in control of the conversation and more likely than not going to land a client because you're showing that you care. So all we have to do once we change these messages is save it. So it's pretty simple, right? So now we're going to set the away message and we're going to change that up just a little bit as well. Very easy to do. Once again, all you do is hit the change button. Boom. It's going to show a preview of exactly what happens when your customer messages your page. So now we want to make sure that this response is relevant. So we're going to change that response up a little bit. Again, we're always going to add personalization because it's so important to be able to address somebody by their name. It's going to help you remember their name as well, but it also gives a, your page a little bit more of a personal touch. Okay, so again, really quickly, we just changed up the away message, left the personalization, and again, encouraged the client to call or text because we never want to leave an opportunity for a prospect to connect with us on the table. So we want to make sure that all of these things are done really, really well. So now what we want to do is show a messenger greeting. If you remember, what I said was when somebody visits this agent's Facebook page, 
This will pop up a lot like a chat box on a website. So we want to give it a little bit more look and feel of a chat box on a website in our reply. So we're going to change up this reply as well. So if you see what we did here, this again kind of gives you a quick little preview of what your entire conversation might look like with a prospect on your Facebook page. So what we're doing here is we're creating a greeting. And I do want to put a little caveat into this. This is not a bot. Bots are, bots are different. Bots are a whole separate animal that you can use that are a lot more sophisticated than this, but this is just a very simple way to set up some auto replies on your Facebook page. So, you know, for those of you who don't have time to do bots or, you know, who don't want the hassle of having to hire somebody to do one for you, um, this is a great way for you to start a conversation with a potential prospect. So again, when the prospect goes to your page, what they would do is this little greeting is automatically going to pop up. And what we're going to do with this little greeting is simply ask the prospect a question. Are you looking for a home for yourself or someone else? Pretty simple. Then we save that. Kaboom. That's all done. So now you've got the follow-up set as well for anybody who sets an appointment with you via Facebook. And again, I'll go into all that. So don't sweat it. But this is just a really good way for you to kind of get started with some of the settings on your Facebook page. And this way, you're really doing the best possible job that you can to connect with prospects and potential clients. So let's talk about some of the other features that are available on your Facebook page because there's a lot. And there's a lot of different things you can set up that will really help you gain an unfair advantage against your competition no matter where you're selling real estate. Okay, so now that we've gotten some of this stuff out of the way, Let's talk about some of the other things you can do with your Facebook page to really maximize your profile and your presence. So what you want to do is go in and edit your page. Now, the reason that for some of you looking at your Facebook page, it might not exactly look like what this one does on the back end. And the reason for that is because of the template that you've chosen for your page or the type of page you've chosen for yourself. So if it's not a business page, if you've set up a community page or a public figure page, which are not bad things to do. It's not going to look like this on the back end. The reason that we went with a business page for this agent was because A, there was a business page already set up, but B, because there's so much more functionality that you can offer with a business page to your potential prospects. So the template that we're using for this page of services, we don't want to change this. But in the event that you want to play with some other templates, don't be scared. Just click edit. You can always change it back whenever you want to. So you could do a standard template, a video creator, a shopping template. If you have like a online e-commerce store, um, restaurants and cafes have their very own template. Politicians have their own templates, nonprofits, venues. Um, you know, if you want to do different pages for different things, then of course you have business and services. We chose service because this is a service industry professional. So it just made sense to use that template. You can always change your tabs too, which is pretty cool, right? So you can have your about, your reviews, your services, your photos, your videos, posts, community, agent profile, all of that good stuff, right? You can set up to use default tabs or you can add your own. So you can go in and say, hey, I want to add a tab. It's going to tell you which different types of tabs you can offer. You could do events pages for things like open house or client appreciation events. It's always a smart move. Groups, if you have your own Facebook group, which I highly recommend. That's part of the training that I offer. It's another thing that you can add as a tab. If you're hiring for an assistant or something else, you can post that job direct to your Facebook page as well. And live videos. Live videos get so much traction on Facebook and not enough agents are doing them. So always, always, always shoot the live video. And again, if you are shooting from your phone, which most of us do, if you don't have the Facebook Business Pages Manager app installed on your phone, you can't go live from your business page. You want to go live from your business page because that's really going to help you gain some traction with your audience and the people who have liked your page and also attract some new people to like your page without you having to pay a ton of money in advertising for it. You can also put offers up on your page. So if you have specific offers, for example, a move up program where someone could, for instance, list their house with you for 1% as long as they're purchasing a new house using your services for 3%. There's tons of different things that you can do and advertise and take advantage of from your page directly. 
and have different tabs that are reflective of that. Now, let's have a real conversation. There's not a lot of people who are going to visit your Facebook page. Where most people are going to go is their newsfeed, which is why ads are still very, very valid. But these are just some suggestions that you can use to get a little creative with your own Facebook page and what you might want to add. Post attribution is just merely the setting of when it says posted by, who's it going to be posted by? Generally, you always want to say it's posted by your page. Notifications will allow you to sift through the notifications on your page and give you some additional options for, you know, whenever something happens with your page. Now, that being said, if you follow my advice and download the Facebook Business Manager app, which amazingly many agents I talk to still haven't done, you'll get all of these notifications automatically and it's really going to help you manage your business better. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Messenger platform. If you have a bot, which bots are super cool and they're very trendy and they allow you to automate so much of your business. In fact, when you have a bot and you're advertising to your prospects a new listing or it just sold or something of that nature to the people who have, who have gone in and liked your page or opted into your bot, the open rates are actually significantly higher than email alone. So investing in a bot, in my professional opinion, we have one, is vital. So if you don't know what a bot is or if, you, if you're interested in finding out more, please leave us a comment. We're happy to discuss that with you. So the next thing I want to talk about is people and other pages. Okay, You can go in and you can light, you can ban, you can invite people to do certain things. You can give people certain roles who like your page as well. So that's kind of a cool little feature that you have. And all you have to do is click the little checkbox next to their name and remove from page likes or ban from page if you don't want them anywhere near your page. So you, you do have a lot of control over your business page, especially when it comes to, you know, finding out who who you want, you know, as, as part of your, your audience. Now let's talk about audience building and audience attraction, okay? What we did here was we used the Facebook Audience Insights tool. And we used that to build an audience of people who would be most interested in this agent services. So the cool thing about this is what these people are interested in, what we did was we created this agent a niche based on what is important to him which is, you know, he's a veteran, he loves real estate, he's very into, you know, working with the community. So we took all of these things into account because only targeting people who like real estate is going to give you such a tiny little pool of people. So as you can see here, this is actually widening his pool quite a bit to about 1.1 million people who have liked these other pages who will then see his page as a suggested page like anytime they're interacting or liking things from these other pages. So it really helps him with his organic reach a little bit and it helps him get out there a little bit more with people who are legitimately interested in his services, not just tire kickers and, and not people who would not turn into a legitimate lead. So it allows him to reach and foster some of those relationships highly intelligently. Now if you don't know how to use the Facebook Audience Insight tool, that is something else that I go over in our paid training. So if you're interested in learning more about that, please leave us a comment below about that and we're happy to discuss that with you as well. So now we're going to talk about a couple other things that are super duper cool. So you have branded content, okay? This is a post that features or is influenced by a business partner for an exchange of value. Now, I always recommend cross-promoting. So like, let's say for example, what, what do people want to know when they're looking for a real estate agent? That you know your area, that you know where to go eat, that you know where to have a good time, that you know family friendly places, that you know some events that are coming up. So if you're contacting these other pages and you're saying, hey, can I tag you in a post that I want to put on my page? It gives you more exposure, by the way, because it puts your post on their page as well, which is reaching out to their audience. So it's always, always, always a wise decision to create and foster those relationships with other business pages on Facebook. Real estate agents, for example, need to have cross-promoted content 
with trusted loan officers, escrow officers, moving companies, um, you know, anybody who's going to be involved in the real estate buying or selling process, home inspectors, that's another great one. So it's a win-win for you. It's a win for the other company and it's a win for you as well because you're both getting your content in front of more people. And again, without having the very, very high expense of what Facebook ads are. So that's always a wise choice as well. Now, this is where I'm going to get my soapbox a little bit. Agents have got to be on Instagram and Pinterest. Photos and videos and, and the reason people will fall in love with an agent many times is because they're advertising a property or a house or they're advertising different events or, or things like that that people can will will capture somebody's attention. And you only really have about seven seconds to capture somebody's attention. So what you want to do is actually add your Instagram to your Facebook and you can edit your account details, create Instagram ads, and all of that direct from the Facebook in interface. Because ever since Facebook and Instagram got married, they want you to be able to use both of these platforms. Now that being said, fun little note for you, if you post a picture direct to Facebook, as opposed to direct to Instagram, and then use that Instagram post to share to your Facebook, you will get less traction. If, however, you post your photo direct from Instagram, and this is something else I go over in my training with examples, because there's a lot to know, you actually get a lot more traction. So if you're not in the habit of doing that, and I even show you how to do that using a, a tool that I use to where whenever you're posting something on Instagram, it will auto post to your Facebook business page, which is just smart. So definitely make sure that you're using your Instagram. Featured. So when you want to add featured likes, and this again goes back to cross promotion, your featured likes on your page should be people you do business with on a regular basis. It shouldn't be <laughs> other realtors. It shouldn't be a board of realtors. It shouldn't be NAR. It shouldn't be TAR. It shouldn't be your, your local real estate commission. It needs to be like restaurants, loan officers, moving companies, things like that, because you want to cross promote. When you have relationships with other businesses, you can also cross promote video and video is huge on Facebook. So you definitely want to talk about that a little bit. And again, all of this is stuff that we go over in our training. And if you want a little bit of an introductory taste of some of the things that you can do, we do have a webinar on it and I have put the link in the comments section. So please feel free to take advantage of that and let us know what other questions that you have. Now your page support inbox, this is really just where you're going to get messages from Facebook. For example, when you verify your page, you'll get a message from Facebook of when your page is verified. Wi-Fi network. If you have a physical location, and some agents do and most agents don't because, well, I mean, most agents are today are very, very mobile, so there's not really a need for an office, but if you do have Wi-Fi nearby that you're allowing other people to use, you can enter in those details here as well. So it's, it's a really great way for you to give some more value to somebody when they're visiting you at your office or at your place of business. So just a little tip from me to you. Now, that being said, there's always more work to do on your Facebook business page. But about every 30 days, you do want to go in, check your settings, just like I showed you, see if anything new has been added, and maybe tweak it just a little bit so that you're not having... Um, you know, a lot of people who are, you, you know how to use your Facebook page and you're using it to the absolute highest level of advantage that you can. So in other videos, I go over things like how to set up the request time button, how to set up the appointment feature, how to integrate that feature with some other third party tools as well. If you're interested in those, please make sure you like, share, subscribe, and we will see you on the flip side.